Ladies and gentlemen, let me, on behalf of the people of the government and people of the state, sincerely thank each and every one of us who have come today. This ecumenical centre, sometimes last year, we tried to flag up the foundation laying ceremony. But at that time, we have not agreed with Julius Vega the cost. And so Julius Vega could not go ahead. And then we were thinking whether to get another contractor. But something came up and said, look, if having brought Julius Vega and I have announced to the public that Julius Vega will build in this ecumenical center, and then seeing another contractor at the site, they said this is the part of the 419 of politicians. So I told the DG due process that for whatever it is, seems to have announced uh, the contractor, he must walk around to make sure that we'll find money to complete or start this project. When we were campaigning, this was one of the promises we made when I met some men of God who invited me, asking me one question or the other. I told them that one of the first things we will do will be to build a center where Christians of all faiths will have to meet and to also say that this state is purely a Christian state. I have no apologies to anybody. I have no apologies to anybody. And so January this year, we are good, and Jared Beja moved in to site. So we started the construction of this building January this year. When the acting president, uh, Professor Simanjo, when he came in February, they were just coming out from the foundation, and I told him that we are hoping to invite our father, Pastor Eno Kariboye, to come on May to commission this ecumenical center. He said, well, I don't know how you managed to finish this. You are still at the foundation uh, level. I said, well, I believe with commitment I know Jules Vega, once the money is, is there, they will deliver any time, any day. So we fought and fought and made sure that we are not owing them. And this is a, this is a job that we have finished paying 100%. What? I said I was going to hand over this building today to the Christian Association of Nigeria, and I'm going to give them the CFO today. It is their property now. But I've always advised them, just like the primate of Middle Church was praying, we are Christians. I don't see why we should be fighting ourselves. I don't see why there should be division. If indeed we believe that we are worshiping God and we are serving God, we should set other things apart and work as a team. I don't want to hear a story tomorrow that you cannot manage this place because of the division. If I hear that either the chairman of Khan River State is not managing the place well with his colleagues, I will have another option to revoke the CFO. I have to revoke the CFO. Listen, to revoke the CFO and then formally, formally maybe hand over the church to my community. <laughs> so that since I know that my community, we are united. So, but it's important for us to know that as Christians, we must work together. Please, the chairman of Khan, I'm begging you in the name of God, let this not divide us. It is, it should unite us the more, not to divide us. So I want to... <laughs> the 
the community center has five offices inside there with their changing rooms. So you have offices where you can stay and run the place. At the back, you still have not less than 15 plus of land at the back. So I'll give this to you. I want to invite the chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria to come out. And also, your officers who run the can with you, I hope they are here. Yeah, so I want them to come and join hand with you so that I will hand over the community center to you. And I want to still say, work with your colleagues. Therefore, I want to use a uh, privilege to plead with our father, Pastor Enoch Adubayo, to, on behalf of the state government, present this certificate of occupancy to Christian Association of Nigeria River State Branch. Another round of applause, a thanksgiving applause to our government. Your Excellency, with your very kind permission, please, the Chairman of Khan would just love to say thank you to you. Chairman of Khan, River State. May God bless we all in Jesus' name. You are His Excellency, sir. I stand on the existing protocol on behalf of Christian Association of Nigeria, River State, Chapter. I, Primate Dr. Isaac Comforta Tabonoton Seke Ayana Sekeke JP. By divine providence, the number one Christian in the River State hereby received as a symbol of acceptance the keys and document of this temple invited and donated by the executive governor of River State, Chief Barista Nyosun Ezewan Wike CON, Apostle of Peace. For use, by the Christian community. This altar shall be a place of help for the needy, for the promotion of brotherhood, and for the extension of the kingdom of God in River State, Nigeria, and the whole world. This temple shall be set apart for common use for the worship of God and preaching of the gospel of Christ. Yeah. The children of sin and sorrow found refuge from hopelessness and Christian a about to wish they can resort for safety when the tempest is high. We thank the Almighty God for accepting this offering of a house in this in his name, an offering made by grateful and a willing heart and bless every heart that share in this gift. The grace for Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God,